And we're on to game number three, the final match in the series between Evil Geniuses Idra, Red Zerg player in the top left part of Shakuras Plateau, and his opponent, the winner of last game, Liquid Junro, who kind of threw a monkey wrench in Idra's plan last game. Showed some Hellions. I kind of thought he was going to do the same build as the first game. He did not. He changed it up, threw in some tanks, and had a really nice attack. It hit right at the moment whenever Idra likes to build up his Muta army. So the, the contain was set up like right at the time, right before the Mutas got there. So he got to put up the bunkers. The Marines were sitting there, and he got in a really nice position. There's like not many places to flank as Zerg in that position. You're kind of just like the Zerg or the Terran is in a bottleneck just kind of hanging out there. And, you know, other than taking out those rocks that lead to your third, taking those out and kind of running around from behind, going for a flank, your Zerglings can just come in from one direction. And if you've got two bunkers in the front of your base, there's not really much, uh, you know, the Zerg player can do unless he, like, overmade Zerglings or overmade Banelings just to take out that timing attack. And Idra doesn't really like to overmake uh, his army in the early game, especially only off of two base. He would much rather prefer taking a uh, quick third as opposed to making like 15 extra zerglings and that situation may have actually helped him uh, hold off that attack but uh oh spaghettios we've got a proxy barracks coming here from jinro jinro wants to make game number three quick and he's not even throwing up any gas obviously he's scouting over here to the left and that's going to mean uh oh he is tricky he's so tricky that means there's going to be no overlord over there on the left so jinro knows exactly where his opponent is out of um, by process of elimination, he knows his opponent is right up here because, as you can see, the Overlord, whenever he scouted, probably would be hanging out right here if he backed it up. And uh, Idris going to go scout him out. He's going to see this one barracks opening, but that's not going to be enough to tell him there's a hidden barracks over here. And Jinro, Jinro's going to go for it. Idris not going to be happy with this. He hates dealing with two bunkers, or sorry, dealing with two barracks pressure. Do two a barracks pressure. Spawning pool going up. Gas going up a little bit later than that. Idra has scouted that. Marine heading out across the map now. One SCV up in the main. Another Marine. Actually, there's another SCV over here. So he's going to have two SCVs to start throwing down some bunkers. And kind of curious to see where he's going to put these bunkers. There's an interesting opening here. And the hatch is finished. A lot of Zerglings coming out. Four coming out. Four. Uh oh, there we go. Two bunkers being placed. And uh, he's going to try and pull enough thrones. He's only got four down here. Four. Or actually, they're going to go on that Marine. And he's going to micro that pretty well. And he's going to lose two, maybe even the third drone. He's going to be able to take out these um, SCVs. That'll be extremely critical. So he does not get uh, at least one of these bunkers up. Four Zerglings out. He really needs to pull everything at this point. There's As soon as these bunkers get it, this is going to be bad news. He's going to maybe get this uh, spine crawler up. I think that'll be in range. We will see. It's going to be a matter of the bunker versus the spine crawler. He's going to come up here trying to take out that spine crawler. Force those Zerglings to get back and kind of just jump back in the bunker back and forth here. Played really nice. And he's going to probably take out this bunker. Where is that attacking? He's taking out the spine crawl or this hatchery. Jiren has a nice contain. Looks like this bunker is going to probably die before it even finishes. Um, can't even repair it unless it's finished. Another spine crawler is up. Unfortunately, that's not in range. He's going to have to move that closer just a hair to get in range there. Two bunkers are up, so he's going to put a nice contain on at this point. Uh, Jiren can spend his extra money on a command center like he just did in his main. Um, and put, moving those spine crawlers just up a little bit. This one actually not in range. It needs to move it just up one square closer. That's actually too close. And he might lose this queen here. Just a little bit there. Right there. Where are you going? Where are you going? This spine crawler's got a mind of its own. It's running around now. It's way too close. Uh, that's bad. He's going to lose the spine crawler. Oh, man. That's just... That could be huge. They're losing that spine crawler. That's a lot of money in there. It goes... That's... You know... GG. Wow. Quitting right there. Um... I think that all came down to this like misplaced spine crawler and maybe not pulling enough drones to uh, to deal with that first attack because he had four drones. He pulled four drones. He made his zerglings, but I think the time while he was waiting for the zerglings to come out, uh, he really needed to pull like probably twice as many drones, maybe eight instead of just the four, because Idra took out what four drones with two marines and. If he would have had eight, that would have been a completely different story. He would have been able to take out those bunkers. So um, I think there's a possibility here where Idra could have held that off. And this spine crawler, it was just one space too far. If it would have been just like right here instead of right here, 
uh, below this hatchery, he probably would have been able to, I mean, it obviously outranges a bunker. I mean, that's well known. A bunker outranges, a, or sorry, a spine crawler outranges a uh, bunker with marines in it by one range. So he just was not in the, crop, the proper position. And Jinro takes game number three down really easy. And that's the end of the series. So uh, kind of had some pretty cool game one and game two, but game three, not as exciting. Unless you're a fan of bunker rushes. <laughs> and in that situation, you're probably a Terran player. <laughs> All right. There's the end of the series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out more of my commentaries and strategy videos over at youtube.com slash See you guys later.